Yes, I have actually encountered um, an episode of racism, and this was only a few weeks ago. Um, I live in a fairly monocultural part of Sydney, and I must say, all my life, and um, I was very disappointed to sort of encounter this this little moment. I thought I'd been sort of been doing well, and I thought, you know, we were sort of living in a fairly utopian society. I was just walking through my local shopping centre, and um, I accidentally walked in the path of a woman, a middle-aged woman, and so I politely, I kindly stepped aside. Um, I apologised for my for my actions and. Something which I couldn't comprehend was the fact that she just stood there for a second, and so she basically muttered, um, "I'm Australian. I walk to the left." Now, as I said, I, I've never really encountered racism before, and it was um, something which took me a little while to process for me to comprehend that um, the underlying message behind her sort of comment. How did it make me feel? Um, I felt like as if some part of my humanity had been chipped away at. I'm annoyed at myself because I didn't stand up for myself. I didn't, um, I didn't respond to a comment. I just walked away. So following the incident, I, I wrote to my local newspaper and um, much to my disappointment, um, I received two responses from people in the neighborhood. Um, and they, those letters were basically dismissive of my experience. Um, I showed these letters to a friend of mine and, and they indicated, she indicated um, that this was an example of closet racism. She described it as being a more insidious form of racism. Um, so obviously racism does exist in my neighbourhood and I've just been fortunate enough not to have copped any until, until now.